Hello everyone, Chris Monkeys here, and as you remember in the previous tutorial, I was uh, trying to unwrap this uh, knife, and we left, as you remember, with seams, with two seams, and I want to reduce it and leave with uh, one seam. So, in order to do that, I will mark this uh, handle. I will go to the UV editor. In the energy mode, I will select the middle seams, and as you see, it's marked on the bottom on our mesh. So I will select the middle edge and deselect other edges. Okay, I will cut it. Going to shell and splitting with the uh, object in two parts so I will marking one edge to see in which side this uh, mesh should go so I will go to shell move it down here and as you see when I'm marking one side the other se uh, edge is marking so I believe I need to sw uh, flip it so in order to Flip it. I will go to the rotate and uh, just adjust a little bit with uh, shape of the lines. Okay, dokie. So I will mark another one and I will flip it again because, as you see, this edge belongs in here. So if we will try to merge, we want to edges face to each other alrighty the shell and just a little bit adjusting okie dokie I will go to edge mode mark the edges and use the command move and so same on the opposite side Select the edges, deselect other edges which you don't need it, and move and sell. Okay, we have left with these two edges. We will move and sell too. I will just press the G button to repeat the command and selecting the vertices, going to shell, adjusting in the UV workspace a bit. I'll scale it down to fit this screen. Okay, and okay, right now we have, as you see, one seam, but in the sides we have ugly distortions. I believe it will be obvious for you. Just check the letters and numbers and they should be in the squares. Okay, so to fix this problem, we need to use relax or unfold command in the UV editor. So I will again select all the object, the shell, to select all object and press unfold uh, this button. And we have here two commands, unfold and relax. So if I press the left mouse button on unfold and drag to the left it's nothing happening and if i will drag to the right as you see it's unfolding this shape we of course can use a relax but relax i'm always using for a uh, smallest uh, details um, how to say it? it's uh, maybe when i will mark the smaller part of the uh, shape I will using relax and after it unfolding you can play with that it's really a great feature but uh, not always working perfectly but for this tutorial it will be great I believe okay so as you see we have uh, properly uh, layout out the UVs and right now 
we can add some materials or textures on this uh, 3D mesh. So for a bolt, I will be picking the blend material to have some shininess. So, whoops, I've selected select all the bolts, mark the uh, press the right click on the blend material and assign material and you can with the right mouse click go to the rename and rename to the bolts okay so double click the bolts and in the attribute editor you can pick the different color I believe I will stay with the almost black or maybe can play with this something or maybe brown something brown okay dark brown for uh, bolts and if you want to clear the working area you can press this arise button and that's it. So for a blade we can simply assign the blend material and make it, I don't know, a bit lighter maybe. But of course if you have uh, some kind of texture or you want to go to the Photoshop and play with that and draw some uh, metal things or scratches or something like that you can easily go and draw in Photoshop or other painting application. I will try to assign the simple material I have on the desktop some kind of metal. Of course he is not looking very great but still. Okie dokie. And uh, for a handle I will pick the Lambert material. And um, I will assign the simple wooden texture from my desktop to. <coughs> and here we have all the texture sets. But for example, I don't like this this texture that it goes from top to bottom with lines. I want maybe. Uh, maybe I want that they will go in the horizontal line. So I will go to the, uh, this button, it's a placement attributes editor. And I in here, in this menu, I can rotate it or flip it the texture. So in our case, we can go to the rotate UV and set it by 90 degrees angle. We will rotate it as you see. Of course, if we want in here, we can uh, use the repeat command. For example, if I press a five and five time, it will be repeated five times. But as you see, it's looking pretty ugly. So I will be back to the Whoops, in the previous settings, and um, in here, of course, you can do a lot of things, but to cover them, I believe we need to go at least in advanced texturing uh, courses, but I believe I will make them in the future, but for the beginners and for the basics, it's really understandable and easy to use as a simple uh, materials, uh, shaders, and we will be covering uh, in 
next courses only hyper shade materials and of course mental ray materials it's uh, the best materials for me so stay tuned and wait for uh, another courses okay see you guys bye